Now, one in five adults and one in ten children and teenagers are projected to be obese by December 2023 in ten high burden African countries if no robust measures are taken to reverse the trend. We are calling for action to tackle rising levels of childhood and adult obesity to reduce the stigma faced by people living with it. Why is Roman Abramovich taking a backseat? What does this mean for Chelsea as we look at the actions being taken backward from Chelsea? Would he affect the day-to-day -day running of the club and the future? We'll be seeking answers for all of this. And like always, we will be reviewing the front pages of major dailies across Nigeria with an analysts. Welcome to The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. And I am Messi Boko. It's a beautiful Friday morning and it feels really great to be back on your screen. Yes, it is Friday, Mercy, and we are thanking God, TGIF. What are you doing for the weekend, Mercy? Nothing. You try and get some rest. Just rest? Of course. Mm, no plans are to unwind, to lay your hair back and all of that. <laughs> you look very funny. <laughs> okay, just going to rest. You're going to have a rested weekend. Well, for me, I have a wedding to attend. That. It's just one of those weekends when you just want to uh, be with friends and family. Great time, but I have, you know, some time mm. to rest and basically mm. get more sleep and be back that, here. It's a Sunday. good one. It's a good one. It's part of, um, uh, you know, a lifestyle adjustment that we all have to make, uh, you know, sometimes because of um, the hustle and bustle, you know, with a city like Lagos when there's so much going on. At the end of the week, you just want to just take our time and just relax. It is a good one. I, I think I think I really appreciate what you want to do for the weekend. Mm. A lot of things are happening, Mercy, like all these are so top trending. There's a video, uh, you know, making the round and social media and some security guards uh, were caught dancing. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it is funny, but I, I, I thought it was just entertaining, you know, but eventually they were sucked. I, I don't know if you, I'm sure you watched the video. Now. In my opinion, Mercy, you know, sometimes there's so much, so much hardness, so much going on in Lagos. Sometimes you just want to relax. And if you think uh, maybe dancing, you know, would uh, bring you some uh, relief. You should. And besides, uh, I feel it's just a way. Uh, in my opinion, though, I don't. I felt that um, sack was a bit too harsh for them because uh, it is an entry. So some people might see it as a way of um, entertaining guests, and some people might be. Uh, I, I want to go to that particular age where those uh, security guards um, entertain us with dance moves. Uh, although some might say it's unprofessional that uh, they should be at their post and doing their job, but there's so long as um, nothing all right when on so why not mercy you're laughing i don't know i'm, I'm enjoying it Just look at the steps no, no and yeah. you know but uh looking at that particular <laughs> video <laughs> yeah why are you laughing it feels like i have actually getting into the group no wait it feels like i've actually patronized i mean it looks like a very familiar uh, you've gone there the i don't know you. i'm not sure but it looks you know i've been trying to figure out where the particular well, sport is you would go there if you, uh, you not noticed. necessarily because I don't want to start, you know, bringing down any brand and anything, but let's okay. leave it at that. Okay. Uh, but I was really trying to figure out, it feels like I've actually been in the particular sport. So yes, mm. your thoughts have actually aligned with a lot of Nigerians who say, hey, there's really nothing wrong to dance. And that was too harsh. They were just dancing. Just they didn't okay. kill anyone. And at the end Although of the video, if you actually, if you actually saw that video to the yes. end, you still find out that he was still opening the door. They're still doing their jobs. Yeah. So, um... <laughs> So I think, you know, let's look at it again. So he was dancing and, and then I, I think he still responded to the door. Let's yeah. see. Uh, so he opened the and door and then someone mercy. walked in. They have that moves. Mm. Mm. To the left, to the right. Come back. Yeah. No, but, so, so, but you want to also agree with me that yeah. organizations actually have their own rules and regulations rules of engagement. and okay. rules of engagement. But for me, if the job is done, it doesn't matter how yes, you get it done, entry. as yeah. much as the job is done, because... Um, when I saw the video at first, or not necessarily, I'm not sure, I saw that particular part where he opened the door. That means he didn't fail as a job. Yes, now, the question a lot that. of people have been asking is, um, you know, your job description does not 
entail it does not include because for every time you get a job i mean you you go to an organization yeah, okay, and you're asking there's a job description you're being given what to sure. do and so you know there might be they are really right okay. as much as we are also you know looking at it oh there's a lot going on in nigeria but the question you want to ask yourself is this fast food uh you know that hired this young man or the security organization that hired this man did he include that they were going to be dancing I know. But an another thing also should be, um, did they also, did they fail at their job? Mm -hmm. I mean, like Good I question. said, I could Good still question. see him taking the door, opening answering, the door. Yeah. opening the door. And so he meant that he was doing his job. However, you get the job done as long as the job doesn't fail, Let's see, it's that, done. Does this, I don't know, sometime in, here in Lagos now, you know, some, uh, is it last month now or... or or road safety official that, that's really prominent uh, along uh, is it Ikeja or Laos area. If you pass that route, you know he still controls traffic. I understand. You know, and he was commended. I mean, fine, he was in the job. Traffic was moving, and people were happy. People, I mean, tensions were relieved. Mercy. There, no, no. There's, there's a particular. There's a particular. Uh, uh, traffic warden uh, mm -hmm. that in a particular state, I mean, to be very precise, mm -hmm. in Cross River State, Calabar, uh, there's a spot around the zoo axis. The young man there is always very happy. And then there's also another police officer in that state. So there are two, you have a police officer. Usually, if you find her in different spots, she is always very joyful. She does it, you know, with a lot of, you know, yeah. drama she's very dramatic with it sometimes it doesn't necessarily mean that there's some music she's dancing to mm -hmm. but like i said she's it was very not dramatic. part of their rule book but and then traffic was still like, like we'd always say you you can't say i mean plus tv africa has her own rules of engagement and I know, expectation i just felt they should have been warned or something you never can tell maybe they have actually put out the warning but for okay, me well, so for looking at that video we could still see that they were doing their job i mean the doors were being attended to and if they did not fail at their job, then they didn't deserve to be actually, you know, sacked and yes. all of that. Uh, they, they, because uh, some works. people, I saw a lot of reaction yesterday. Some people are saying, oh, uh, you know, if you were hired to do X, Y, Z and you were now doing another thing and then you missed the goal. Imagine that you were playing Chelsea and Liverpool and then the goalkeeper decides to dance to a, a menor and then <laughs> there's a goal, right? But look at this again for a second. I think this is the part that a lot of people are not paying attention mm -hmm. to. Uh, but like we always say, I mean, it's their organization, this fast food, they have their rules of engagement. Did they fail at their job? Is they another thing. Uh, we we probably cannot right. even tell if they had been given warning and asked that this is not part of your job descri description mm -hmm. as much as they're happy. But I'm sure that this young man, uh, you know, will not be stranded. They would definitely find their food. Yeah, they're very happy looking. Um, <laughs> People very passionate about it, and they've got very good. Maybe motivation. maybe they just get signed up to one of this dance academy or dance video or anything. Yeah, you know, because, just those because I for one I can't even dance to save my life. All right, we'll move on. You know, away from that. Uh, there's another story uh, trending. Um, reps are rejecting a bill uh, to bar office holders from studying abroad. Messi, I, that didn't come to me as a surprise because, uh, you know, they feel that uh, our education standards, uh, you know, are not really as competitive or, you know, at par with those abroad. So, you know, why would they want to uh, stop it when they know that uh, they can easily travel? So the thing for me is that um, you should know what the issues are. Fix the country, fix our education, so that way you will not even need to go abroad to study. Before now, Nigeria used to have a very wonderful educational system. We, have, we, we had exchange program with um, foreign um, nationals who come to us, but all of that is just changing. Messi, we talked about education yesterday. We're talking again today. We are sounding like broken records, really. I'm tired. No, but you know, we, we will here. never stop. We will never stop until we get to a point where we understand the importance of education. Okay. Have we asked, I mean, look at the cost that we have to incur in evacuating our students from Russia every time, every other mm -hmm. time. Uh, you, you have uh, a lot of persons, not necessarily political office holders, uh, wards or children who want to leave the country and go seek uh, quality education outside. I, I, just, I just thought that it would just be an opportunity, you know, for lawmakers to actually look at the essence of all of this. The point is we need to look inwards. Yes, we need do. to be self-sufficient and self-reliant. We can constantly... So, someone put out a post yesterday, I think it's a Nollywood actor, and he talked about the fact that he's not willing to send his children, his children uh, to go study abroad. Not that he can afford it, but he thinks that it's patriotic 
yeah. to have your kids actually study in Nigeria. So um, primarily, because it got a lot of Nigerians talking, is that yes, this bill would have actually gotten to a point where it holds people accountable. It would mm -hmm. just make us say, okay, if this is the case, whatever it takes, we're going to fix it. We're going to fix. I, I, I tell you every other time, have you have you ever wondered why people want to go out? Because first of all, you want to look at the environment. At the time where I was, you know, a student of the University of Calibre, I remember I had a counterpart, a very good friend, who's still in Ghana, and he was studying in Ghana. And sometimes we'll probably just have those conversations and call. He's like, oh, I'm still in school. I'm still in class. I'm like, at this time of the night, I say, everywhere's lit. Hmm. That's number one. He says, everywhere's lit. Conducive environment. So, so, so go to our universities. This is not talk say. This has nothing to do with ASU. Take a look if you want to. If you can, just visit each universities you know, across the 36 I mean, states. And look at the state glaring. of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. It is horrible, including the university that I graduated from. It's nothing to write home about. You will still be saddened by the fact that in the 21st century, I mean, when are we even going to get our 21st century? <laughs> <laughs> we still have a lot of persons still sitting not on the desk. Mm. They'll probably be, be on the floor in a university. I know. I know. No, so it, it's, it's bad. So let's even begin to talk about, about the chemistry labs. Let's begin to talk <laughs> about the, you know, all of the labs. I, I did management that. information system, you know, back then in school. I think I was in my, is it second or third year? Sometime in 2000. You know, management information system was about computers and how computer or computers make your work or management's work and very easy. Mercy, then I didn't even get to see a computer. The only thing they showed us then was just a diskette. Oh, you were very fortunate. In, in, in my case, <laughs> in my case, and I will always say this, so I had this lecturer because it had to do with, uh, uh, you know, introduction to computer, and it was a compulsory at the time, so you have yeah. those very compulsory courses. Yes. And then, so this lecturer walked in, and he walked into the, you know, there's, there's a, it was a computer hall, and everywhere was, and then he said, well, today we're going to start off with this, just imagine that you had a, a monitor in front of you. So I was, I was wondering, what, yeah, what does he mean? You should have a very wild imagination to do that. Now, it becomes very difficult for persons who had not, you know, seen a computer or seen a monitor before. Mm. I was privileged. I mean, it was a privilege that I had seen, uh, you know, a computer before. I owned, you know, a system. Mm. And so it wasn't difficult. But for me, I was just like, how do you tell us to imagine that there was one in front of us? So you were going to be telling us what we don't know. The point is to be very realistic. The state of our Let's look at the infrastructure. It's nothing to write them about. No, it's not at all. The environment is not conducive. The, the school environment is not lit. You walk into the lecturer's office or offices, you find out that there's so much, there's no power. How do you even want these lecturers to function? How do we even It's not get very there? conducive. Yes. And, and, and sometimes you find there? out that these lecturers are very aggressive towards their students. Oh, they take so it out on all of that. Really. All of that is very, I, I, I talked about it. We talked about it yesterday. Yes, we did. There was a we video did. that popped up when you had some professors uh, agitating for space in, you know, a university. And it looked like an uncompleted building. So what do you expect? Mm. Now, it, it, it now falls down on those who cannot afford to send their children, you know, outside of this country. So if we have what it takes to fix the country, to fix the educational system, why don't we fix it? Why don't we make it very conducive? Let it begin to compete so that we can also have people coming to Nigeria. Because I haven't Mes seen people Mes saying they're coming to Nigeria to you study. Why? We, that's what I was saying. We used to have that. The exchange know, program is everything, gone. Everything changed. You know, all of those things that you talked about, we had all of that. You know, then the schools like University of Iba, no, uh, OA, Yobafemi, Awolowo, Inveta, and then Nam uh, UN, United, uh, University of Nigeria, and Suka. They were like the prominent schools that we had lots of, um, you know, Westerners uh, from, the, from the Western countries come to Nigeria to study. You know, they do some, some sort of an exchange program. We had all the infrastructure, fine, it was built pre computer, you know, years and everything. But then we had the basic things, that, you know, all of a sudden, all of these things just went down the drain. and. No talk of maintenance. At the end of the day, we still have um, students scrambling to, you know, seats to even listen to the lecturer. I no, remember no, no, back then, we were like eight sometimes. in the pew, you know, doing examination. We're like, so many people. As at oh this point in time, God. just walking to university, you will find that, that people are crowded, there are no spaces. Should we be talking it's about terrible. that? Terrible. Should we it's walk terrible. into our you know, university lecture halls and what have you and find out that we're still very behind? We're like 20 years. It feels like we're still in the stone age 
people still sit on the floor. This is not a hearsay, but this is a first-hand experience. And it's totally embarrassing for a country as Nigeria. And then it we have all it takes. Right. We have all of the resources. But you look at the budgetary allocation of our, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, it just shows you that we're not really You're interested. Not not and if ready. this bill, you know, however it sounds, as long as some people say, okay, you know, whoever can afford should afford. But it just gives us an opportunity to say, hey, let's fix our education. Let's fix it. Let our yes. kids school here. Let's make it conducive that we begin to have people who even want to, let's even say that, okay, the exchange program will continue. Mm. And then maybe begin to have people from the, the, you know, the continent begin to patronize our universities. It will make a lot because sometimes because when you apply for these universities, I mean, when you apply for admission in some universe, that was the time I got admission to one of these universities, they would give you the admission. It's not the problem. You know why? You're coming to spend money. Yes. You're looking at 14, yes. uh, almost 14 million, yes. 12 million. That's a lot. It is. You know, so is. depending on how many semesters you... So so that's also an avenue that we could also generate revenue. I'm hoping that our lawmakers will begin to look outside of the... I mean, beyond your interest. It's mm. okay. Why can't we make our universities, you know, compete with the global standard, with that of Harvard and, you know, Oxford and all of the very beautiful universities in Europe and all the parts of the country? So we don't have to constantly um, have ourselves going there. Recently, with all of the happenings in Ukraine and Russia... It's, it's been calling for a lot of concern. Why do we have to risk our lives? Why no. do we have to spend more to go evacuate a student? If it was a better environment here, if the quality of education was better, nobody would want to go out. So I'm thinking that the lawmakers would actually, you know, begin to think back and have a rethink. This is not about you. Yes, we know that you can afford it, but why don't we make it lucrative? Why don't we see this as an avenue where people can come in and invest in our country as well? Yeah. So we begin to have the patronage. Let's say you, US, you would have people from the United States who want to come school in Nigeria. But that we has never that. happened. We had all of so that we constantly, because well, every time we leave here, we're taking our monies to go spend in another economy. And it's not making sense. It's not and at the end of the day, they constantly the retain the reserves. manpower and the knowledge. So yes, let's oh. fix Nigeria if we want it to work. All right, uh, we don't have much time on this segment, but lastly, we'll quickly talk about uh, you know, the federal government um, approving uh, the extradition of um, the DCP, um, Abba Kerry. You know, Mercy, you know, when uh, he uh, was arrested you know, and detained over you know, a lead uh, drug uh, for illicit drugs and all of that, you know, one, lots of people were saying that it is an attempt by the federal you know, government to maybe delay, you know, his extradition. A lot of people had said that um, it's just one of those tactics uh, government wants to use, and at the end of the day, he might not be eventually, you know, uh, extradited to the uh, country that's the United States of America, where he's supposed to answer questions, uh, you know, uh, being involved them in Hush Poppy's um, case. Well, um, a lot of people have actually thought about the fact that maybe the federal government is also involved. I mean, there are persons of interest because people would say he probably would not have been working all by himself. And there are several theories saying, oh, yes, uh, you know, when um, the particular report came out, because first of all, he was indicted. I mean, the fact that he's an accomplice in Hosh Poppy's case. Mm. And so when you also have the fact that he was also accused of, there were reports that he is also um, an accomplice or he's a suspect in the case of drug and trafficking, mm. the issue of belonging to a drug cartel and what have you. Some people thought that it was actually some might because uh, this would be a plan not to, to ensure that he's not being moved out of Nigeria to go face, you know, and mm. answer some of the questions the uh, in the United States. But we can see all of these things playing out. And uh, I would rather say that let the law take its course. Mm -hmm. You know, let justice actually, you know, prevail however we see the situation. Fingers across, we'll continue to monitor and see how things actually unfold. All right, uh, those are the top trending stories for this morning. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll be reviewing the front pages of major dailies in a moment. Do join us again.